an easy workaround to create and use animated shapes in OpenShot. OpenShot has quite a few effects that you can add to your videos, but a very important one is missing. Animated shapes or shapes at all. In this video, I'll show you an easy workaround to create your own animated shapes and how to use them. For example, I'm making this tutorial on how to use a specific feature in Excel, showing you how to get to a specific menu. I want to draw attention to this menu with an arrow pointing at it before zooming into it. In order to create an animated arrow, I can use any application that will give me a white background. I will use paint.net. I'll set the canvas size to 1280 by 720 pixels. Start a screen recording. I use OBS with the insert key as a shortcut to start and stop recording. Activate zoom it using control plus number two key to initiate drawing. Zoom it is a free annotation tool I use because of its simplicity and it has the advantage that while drawing there won't appear any handles around the drawing. It has several basic colors and shapes like lines, rectangles and ellipses. Press the shift key and with my mouse start drawing straight lines that will form an arrow utilizing the whole canvas area. Stop recording. Import the video recording into OpenShot. Drag it onto the timeline. Slice off the end and beginning of the clip. Use the arrow right and arrow left key to fine tune the exact location. Use the crop effect to cut out the canvas area. Adjust the cropping on all four sides. Increase the scale so that it will cover all of the frame area. Move the timeline indicator to the beginning of the clip. Add the chroma effect. Pick color white. Increase threshold to 125. Render the video. I use a rather high resolution so that if I want to apply a zoom afterwards, there will be no distortion. Play it to see what it looks like. Now we are going to add this clip as a track to our tutorial. Import the tutorial video and import the arrow video. Drag the tutorial video onto the timeline. Play the video up to where you want the arrow to complete. Drag the arrow video onto the timeline and align it accordingly. The arrow video has to be on a track above the tutorial. Tutorial. 
Add the chroma effect and immediately the background becomes transparent. Place the timeline indicator at the place where the whole arrow is visible. Adjust the size of the arrow using the scale X and Y properties. Make sure that they are equal. Move the arrow to the right spot. Rotate the arrow. Set these properties to constant. Write down the values for position, rotation, etc. that you've changed because you need them in a keyframe at the beginning of the arrow clip. Move the timeline indicator to the beginning of the arrow clip and change these values. and set these to constant. Here's the result. Now for a one-time job, this seems quite a bit of work. The good news is that you can copy this animated shape and paste it anywhere else in this project including all of its uh, keyframes. I'll add a frame shot to this video to make it a little longer. Now I'll copy the arrow and paste it here from where I want the arrow to appear. Move it, rotate it. Set these properties to constant. Once more, write down the values for position, rotation, etc. that you've changed because you need them in a keyframe at the beginning of the arrow clip. Move the timeline indicator to the beginning of the arrow clip and change to the new values. I've changed the scale of the timeline here using the control key plus mouse wheel to make it easier to remove the last keyframe which shouldn't be there. Close this project and open a new project. Import some video clip, add the arrow clip, 
just add the chroma effect and that's it. Create once and reuse whatever you want.